Hey everyone, this is Stuart Victor Echo 9, Charlie Foxtrot, and welcome back to our YouTube channel where we talk about all things ham radio from portable to contesting to DXing. And one of the principles I want to share with you today is skin effect. Now, I never knew what skin effect was until I actually went and studied my uh, Canadian Advanced Amateur Certificate, which I got uh, several months ago. And in, in our study guides, it talked about skin effect. And I said, well, I was interested about this. I want to learn more about what is skin effect and why do I need to know this information? So I understand as a ham radio operator here in Canada, I really need to understand the core fundamentals of RF, uh, power, current, voltage, you know, all the things that, makes our, that make our radios work and us to have fun playing radio. So skin effect is one of those things that caught my attention. And having a basic understanding of what skin effect is, is essential as a ham radio operator because that will, that will have a significant impact on what antennas you choose, feed lines, and anything else to do with the electronics of working your ham radio station. Skin effect, at its very simplistic terminology, is where a high frequency alternating current flows in a very thin layer at the surface of a conductor instead of utilizing the full diameter of that conductor. And as frequencies increase, that, that layer uh, gets thinner and thinner and thinner. So for example, if you're operating on the 80 meter band, you're, the, the layer of that on the surface is thicker than say if you're operating on 10 meter band. It would use a thinner layer at the surface of that conductor to pass the RF or the current flow. So why should ham radio operators know this information? Number one, there'll be increased resistance at higher frequencies. Skin effect increases the AC resistance as the frequency rises. So what does this mean? Antennas and feed lines that perform well at lower frequencies may exhibit higher losses at VHF and UHF for you guys that like to work across multiple bands. So you really need to account for that in your system design. Skin effect also influences antenna efficiencies. As your RF current is conducted at the surface of the conductor, your antenna elements must be designed with the correct elements and materials and dimensions. This is very important for you guys that like to work very low frequency, for example. Though at these lower frequencies, coil resistance often becomes a more dominant factor than skin effect. So skin effect impacts all wires, cables, circuit board designs, and basically all other metallic components. So when building and modifying radio equipment, having a detailed understanding of how skin effect impacts components at various frequencies will help you select the right materials and dimensions. So knowing this information, amateur radio operators can build more effective antennas, choose the right type of feed lines, and actually overall build better designed equipment. So you're gonna make better conductor selections, better antenna designs, choose the right feed lines, and ultimately select the right components for your portable operation, your home shack, wherever you want to play ham radio. The, the skin effect concept in RF applications is something that any serious ham radio operator must not overlook. By understanding how RF current behaves across various frequencies, you as a ham radio operator can build better systems. Pretty simple. You can also troubleshoot performance issues and ultimately achieve better communication results. So whether, whether if you're new to ham radio or a seasoned veteran like myself, understanding skin effect will enhance your technical knowledge and practical capabilities in, in our fascinating world of ham radio. So I hope you guys learned something new today, just like I did. I'm Stuart Victor Echo 9, Charlie Foxtrot. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about these somewhat technical videos I do. It's something out of my comfort zone, but I'm willing to give it a try and expand my you know, just expand my horizons, expand my knowledge. I'm one of these guys that like to teach, and that's the way I learn by teaching. So there you have it. I'm Stuart again, Victor Echo 9, Charlie Foxtrot. We'll see you guys in a future video.